Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I have this very beautiful device. What do you think it is? This ladies and gentlemen, this beautifully made device, this is an amplifier and speaker switch. So how does it work? Let's find out in my review. But first, let's appreciate this beautiful design from Neo Hippo. At the front it has two view meters and some knobs. And at the back, just take a look at that. It has all these inputs and outputs for your speaker and amplifier. It also has this microphone input, we'll see what it does later, and the power source port, which is USB Type-C. Even the bottom, these guys didn't pull any punches. It's a very beautiful made product, and it looks like a premium product too. So let's take a look at a quick unboxing. Labeled as Hi-Fi Made Fun, the new Hippo ET30 comes with a remote control, a power source cable, which is a USB Type-C to Type-A cable, and the user manual. Like I always do, you will find pictures of this manual at the end of this video. You can pause at any time and just read it. Let's start with the power connection and I'm going to use the supplied cable and connect it to the back of the amplifier switcher. As for the other end, you can just use any phone charger you have lying around in your house. As for me, this is what I'm going to use. and the device is on but i'm just going to switch it off because it's recommended that you don't have the device on as you connect your speakers and amplifier the supplied remote control does not come with batteries so i'm just going to insert mine it uses two triple a batteries and you can tell that it's working so let's now connect all the speakers and amplifiers to the back of this panel all these connectors might seem very confusing, but I'm going to simplify it for you. Now on your left, all these connectors are for the speakers, and on your right, all these connectors are for the amplifier. And you can see a positive and a negative. That's where you connect your single speaker. So you connect your single speaker over here, the right channel, and the other speaker over here, the left channel. The same goes for the other side of the speaker, and the same also applies for the amplifier section. So in total, you can see you can only connect to two speaker channels and two amplifier channels. So that means that this is a two in, two out amplifier and speaker switcher. In simpler terms, this is what I'm trying to do. For example, if I have an amplifier signal over here, I can transfer that signal between speaker one and speaker two. I hope that it makes it easy. So let's start with connecting the speakers. Now you can connect it using the banana plug. You just plug it into there. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to unscrew this. And you can see there is a hole there where you can insert your cable and fix your speaker. That is one speaker for the right channel. And I'm going to repeat that for the left channel. As for the amplifier, before I connect my amplifier, I'm first of all going to use my signal directly from my car audio. And this is what I'm going to use to connect to amplifier B. That's done. And now I need to connect a pair of speakers to channel one of my speakers. And that is done. So my speaker two are the Sony speakers, this one and this one. And my speaker one are the Pioneer speakers, the six by nines at the back. So let's begin by switching the speakers one and two from the amplifier B signal. So let me just play some music and switch in between the two speakers. I know you will definitely hear a difference. Now, the reason why amplifier A is not working is because I've not connected, like you saw, I've not connected an amplifier to the port A. But so you can select in between the two inputs by pressing this button or the buttons on your remote control A and B for the amplifier, one and two for the speaker. Now, let's talk about all these buttons and switches. At the top here, that's the infrared sensor for the remote control. The amplifier switches between amplifier A and B, 
and the speaker buttons, which is between speakers one and two. This is the microphone, that little thing we saw at the back of the unit. So as I'm talking, you can see the volume unit meter working. This means that it's picking my voice using the microphone at the back of the unit. To switch it off from the microphone into the input, we just press that. This button is for switching in between the different lights. Let me switch off my studio lights so that you can see better. You rotate it to switch between the different colors. And you press it to switch between the brightness mode. That is off. That's level one, level two, level three, and the maximum brightness, and then off again. With the light on, when you press and hold it, it's going to switch on to this mode where by it will cycle between all the colors. The same thing can be done on the remote control. That's the colors and you can also choose in between yellow for a vintage look or green for a modern look. But you can also change the colors using this button. You can also cycle using this button over here. And the brightness is done by the top and bottom buttons of level one, level two, level three, and level four, the highest, and off again. At the bottom, we have these two knobs. One is for the swing range, and that's the maximum that this dial can go, and the other one is for the sensitivity, how far it bounces when it gets to the maximum level. I definitely love this setup. That's because I can use the ET30 to switch between two speakers from one amplifier input. And this is very important for me, especially because I really wanted a system which would enable me to compare the different outputs of different speakers in no time. And you could really tell that this system changes between the speakers very fast. There is no delay, it changes automatically. The only way you at home could tell that this system is changing between speaker one and two is because of the sound output. So what happens when you press the standby button while the music is playing? Well, let's find out. The music continues to play as if nothing has happened. And I am honestly impressed by the level of quality in this product. I believe these are the relays that I could hear clicking. So it has two sections. That's the front display. So these are the view meters, this one and this one. And at the back, we can see where all the connectors go. You can see a very big resistor over there. And that is the microphone. Now the new Hippo ET30 can protect your amplifier if no load is connected. And that means if the no speaker is connected. And I believe the dummy load used are these two resistors you can see here. So you never want your amplifier connected to a signal, but without speakers. So if this thing detects that you have amplifiers connected without speakers, it will automatically connect your amplifier to the dummy loads. We call them dummy loads in electronics. I am very impressed by the quality of materials used. They even painted the backside because most manufacturers never bother painting the inside of any electronic device. I've just added a second amplifier to the amplifier switcher and that is connected to port number A. So if I play music here, you can hear the music. The car audio at the back is connected to port number B I can, and I can switch to that like that. And the speakers at the bottom add speaker one and the ones at the top add speaker number two. And doing that, I've just switched over to this amplifier. And if I play music, it's now playing. And I can switch between the speakers right now.
So whenever I switch over to the other amplifier, those resistors that you saw inside here, they are automatically connected to the other amplifier. So if I'm listening to amplifier number A, the output for amplifier number B is automatically connected to the dummy load at the back to avoid damaging it. Now notice that this is a two in, two out amplifier switcher, but it only does one thing at a time. It only connects one amplifier to one speaker output, and it does that in stereo mode only. So the Neo Hippo does not support switching between different amplifiers to different types of speakers at the same time. This is only a one in and one out amplifier switcher. So that was my honest review of the Neo Hippo ET30 amplifier and speaker switcher. So what did you think of this product? If you like it, then I have purchase links in my video description below. That's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye. I don't think I'm going to sell these products.